Second home, say that? Yeah. We work here all five days of the week. Seven days a week. Seven. It's pretty good pay. Mm, kind of. Yeah. Uh, 25 plus bonuses. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, not as good as uh, what I would make in advertising. I have, I have a little bit of freedom to do what I want, you know, being a manager sometimes kind of sounds really hard, but I think I really like this job because if you're someone who's business minded and you want to get into the food industry or beverage industry, it's, it's always important to get a whole bunch of experience before you go open your own shop or um, go run your own restaurant. If you have been through it, then you, you pretty much you can tell people, look, I've done this, I know what it takes. Um, I know how to manage people when it comes to food management and things like that. So I thought this would be a good opportunity and I was lucky enough that they gave me a shot and I like it. You know? I'm more scared now than I was before. Because before I was just coming out of school, people wouldn't expect you to get a job right off the back. I mean, I was working at Best Buy, but I could have worked there for whatever until I found a job. But now whenever you get fired, I guess it's more it's even more pressure now than it was whenever after I graduated to find a job and find a job that m meets kind of the same standards or pay um, as much as the other one did. Just started out in architecture, and but in high school I was in graphic design, and I guess I thought architects made more money. It sounded better, <laughs> and it was still creative, and you know you get to design buildings. It just sounded like it's cool. And then after I was in it for a while, I was like, no, I think I want to go back to graphics. And I, I do I like the creative aspect, and I have always been one of, a person to say that uh, you shouldn't. Um, go after a job, I guess, just because it's easy, nor because of money. They facilitate discussion topics. <laughs> Are you a mediator? In a way. Really? Sort of. Uh, well, this is my second job, so okay. before this I worked for the census. So I had to knock on doors and ask people to sign stuff, and they'd be like, oh, you work for the government? I'm not going to sign any papers for you. <laughs> Okay. Is, uh, this is a lot more laid back. Welcome to Jittery Joe's. What can I get for you, sir? We have uh, Little Joe, Joe, Big Joe, Small, Medium, Large. Good. And then my cold uh, cup size, which is Joe, so Big Joe, so Medium and Large. You know. And then um, I have all the different products over here. I have uh, white chocolate, I have uh, dark chocolate, and then I have uh, caramel. I'm not a 9 to 5 kind of guy, you know, I cannot sit on a desk all day, but I have to be able to do it hands on. Like I want to go meet people, talk to them kind of thing. And this kind of allows, let, lets me do that, you know. I get to know a lot of people here, actually. I mean, the people who come every day, I pretty much see them every day. And mm -hmm. they always get the same thing. And we talk about their school, about their lives, and how their kids are doing. I enjoy, you know, interacting with the people, so I can, you know, now, when I came here to the college, I just come to the class and then go out, that's it, I don't know much people here. Now I know a bunch of people, you know, everybody comes here to buy a coffee or food or whatever. Right. So now I know all the phases here. There's uh, this one guy who teaches biology here from like 9 at night to 11, and uh, he always gets two iced coffees, and we were talking the other day, and he told me that he just had a little girl. Because instead of getting one iced coffee, he started getting two, and I was like, oh, wow, you really need to stay up, huh? And he's like, oh, yeah, I just have a one-week-old at the house. And he's like, oh, wow, I didn't know you had kids. And he has three kids and a wife and a newborn, so that's cool. Jittery Joe's as a company is uh, 
there's a lot of people, a lot of young people, especially young managers, you know, that have been to school and uh, during the downturn they couldn't find a job. So uh, in 2008, when I graduated uh, with an advertising degree, because the economy went down, a whole bunch of stuff happened. But this experience as a barista kind of helped me out to secure this position because I knew how to make coffee. This is my first time managing 12 people and I think I'm doing a good, good job because I haven't heard any bad things. I hadn't really applied to that many jobs during that time. I had just started my process and um, my roommate actually worked there and ended up getting me the job there. I had the interview like the next day got hired and everything and at first it was pretty relaxed because I felt like it was like an internship because she didn't expect me to know that much or do that much she kind of just wanted me to do the maintenance and I would ask her questions and you know she would help me and everything and then after three months when we had a little kind of three month review and stuff like that she said she didn't like that I asked her questions I'm not used to failing stuff I'm not used to displeasing people so we try to better communicate but the more I worked there, the more stressed I got, the more nervous I got. Well, the shop opens up at 7, and it takes about 30 minutes to kind of set up everything. It's like, like brewing coffee, but you open up the doors. You gotta adjust the espresso machine to make sure it's the right taste. Um, we make a lot of espresso based drinks, mm -hmm. brewed coffee. I spent 60 grand to go to ad school and then we don't get a return on it you gotta go find your ways and working in coffee is really helpful for me because it's kind of given me a little bit of confidence about public speaking they give you money but you can find a place who the guys don't judge people so if it's this kind of meat you can eat Okay. I mean, say to the subway, very order only for you and your family. <laughs> My experience at Cannibal was awesome. Dude. I love working with people over there. They're really cool people, you know. But uh, I guess when 2008 came by and I had, they had kind of let me go, I, it, at that particular moment, I felt that they could have done. They could have told me a little bit ahead of time so I could have picked up a seasonal job somewhere else, you know. But they put me in a situation where. A year and a half after that, I was just probably liking it dumb. A month before they actually fired me, my HR person kind of sat me down and was like, Cole, I hate to say this, but you're going to have to get your resume and portfolio and go ahead and start having that set up. Um, I guess, I mean, I was kind of happy to let me let go because it was such a stressful, well, it was stressful working with the person that I worked. The job wasn't stressful. Um, the things that I had to do, that stuff didn't stress me. It was working with the boss that I had. I tried almost every other place, big agency, small agency, in Dallas, out of Dallas. Nothing worked out. I used to always get calls, but the opportunities weren't getting converted into interviews and interviews and a whole bunch. It was more like a scouting. I'm more disappointed, I guess, with myself. Because, <laughs> like I said, I just, uh, just, I'm not used to failing stuff. And I feel like I failed this, which a lot of people say, you know, I didn't, but that's what you feel. Um, and just like a lack of confidence and stuff like that. I need to get my, I guess, confidence back in my design and get a job. <laughs> um, well, I started doing some freelance work in July, and that has brought my confidence somewhat up. I tried, I'm still trying, you know, up till this day. Because sometimes I do really feel that it's better to work in a place where they offer you benefits and, you know, you have some time off. I'm looking forward to it, I'm always positive. You never know, things might change in a split second. You go from a small place to a really big place and come back to a small place, you know. You just gotta keep your fingers crossed and just go. I mean, whatever's thrown at you, just take it one step at a time.